Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am known as Horror Fan for Life, and today I'm bringing you movie review number two of two that I watched today. Um, this movie I put off for a long time because uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this actor, but because of who else was in this movie that I'm a huge fan of, I decided to watch it. Uh, and this movie is The Dictator which was released on May 16th, 2012. It is a dark comedy movie that received mixed reviews with critics. On CinemaScore, it has a grade of a C. On IMDb, it is 6.4 out of 10. On Rotten Tomatoes, it's 57%. Uh, Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times gave it three out of four stars. And it has a 93% on Google. And this movie was directed by Larry Charles and written by Sacha Cohen, Alec Berg, David Mandel, and Jeff Schaefer. And it stars Sacha Baron Cohen, Anna Ferris, Ben Kingsley, John C. Riley, Fred Armisen, Megan Fox, and Horatio Sands. And now some of those characters are just more of cameo appearances, but I still count them uh, as credits because they are credited in the movies. Uh, but because of Anna Ferris being in this movie, it really drew me in because I love her to death. I loved her ever since she did the first uh, scary movie uh, film in 2000. And uh, I love her on her CBS show, Mom, that's on, on, on Thursdays at 8 p.m. on CBS. And as soon as I seen her in this movie, I was sold. And Sasha Baron Cohen, he's, he's okay. Uh, the only other movie I've seen him in is Talladega Nights, uh, which he was really funny in. But uh, outside that, I'm a little hesitant to watch some of his movies because this really don't interest me. Like Bruno, I'm not really interested in that. Uh, I may watch it. It is popular uh, amongst a lot of people, but... Uh, I probably have to wait till it comes out on TV. I'm definitely not going to pay to watch the movie. But The Dictator is about um, Sacha Baron Cohen's character who plays three roles in this movie. He's a dictator, of course, of his own country. And he's supposed to sign uh, more or less uh, a treaty to uh, stop, the, stop the dictatorship. Um, and this is more of a kind of a parody movie of uh, subcultures and whatnot. And uh, I found it to be really funny, uh, more so enjoyable than the previous movie I watched and did a review on Married to the Mob. Um, I found Cohen to be really funny. The jokes were, uh, the jokes were spot on for the most part. Uh, I would have to say, and this is a spoiler alert because... Uh, I got to get it in there, but uh, if you haven't seen the movie, mute this, and then I'll give you a thumbs up to the camera when I'm done talking about the spoiler. But my favorite part of this movie, and like I said, you've been warned, is when they're in um, the store owned by Anna Ferris's character, uh, Zoe, and the lady is giving birth, and they're continuously going in and out of, of her vagina, Trying to get this baby, he leaves the phone inside there. Um, it's it's just it's one of those funny scenes. Um, I I had tears rolling out of my eyes during that scene. But overall, like I said, and that's the spoiler right there, so you can unmute it. Uh, but like I said, this movie I found really funny. I love the characters. I love the fact that uh, Sasha played three different roles, although they're pretty similar. But you know, still. Uh, still pretty good. Uh, I found all the other characters more interesting. Um, I really actually cared about what they were going to do. And uh, I just found the story, the direction, uh, just to be a little bit better than Married to the Mob. And like I said, I found myself laughing a lot. But as I said, he goes to America to sign this um, uh, papers to stop his dictatorship and uh, basically have his country be free to do as they please. 
Um, but one other thing I like he does is if he doesn't like what uh, someone has said or has done, um, he'll give them a hug and then he'll do the whole, you know, cut the throat or, or knock them off. And I, I find that to be really funny too. Uh, being that this is only the second movie I've seen of his, uh, I, did, I did really enjoy it. It's not as good as Talladega Nights, but I found it to be uh, really enjoyable and I, I can recommend this movie. I, I really could. Um, I don't want to really say anything else. Like I said, this is 2012. It's still a newer movie, but I really don't like to spoil movies a whole lot. Um, but I always give you guys warnings if I do. So, but other than that, I'm going to give uh, the dictatorship, uh, or actually the dictator, excuse me, I'm going to give the dictator an 8 out of 10 and two thumbs up. So, in the comment section below, if you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. And if you've seen any of his other movies outside of Talladega Nights and The Dictator, uh, let me know what you thought about them in the comment section below. And let me know if you think I should check them out. Uh, Bruno, like I said, I probably will if I ever find it on TV. Uh, but I'm not going to pay to watch the movie. Uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review. And as always, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon. And if you like this review, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to share your videos with all your family and friends. And especially on your social media as well, Facebook, Twitter, whatever it is you use. I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. And as I said before, I don't do this um, for kickbacks, for money, uh, for sponsors, and none of that stuff. I do it because I love movies and I love talking about movies. Um, and I also do, like I said, top tens, rankings, and I review TV shows that I watch or that I'm going to be watching uh, if they're brand new, especially limited series. Um, uh, but other than that, I thank you guys for watching yet another movie review, and stay tuned for my channel for more content. Uh, other than that, thank you for watching, and check you later.